New Zealand is one of the poorest countries in the world. It has great scenic beauty. The country has won many awards for its environmental consciousness. It is home to over 4.2 million people living in a clean, green and peaceful environment. The thought process there has changed a bit over the last five years due to the fact that the economy of New Zealand was also hit along with the rest of the world with the global recession in 2008. There are now two schools of thought. One wanting to use mining with other income sources to strengthen the economy and the other who feel any action which has an effect on the natural habitat should be totally prohibited. Currently, mining in New Zealand is an important part of the economy, being valued at $1.5 billion a year. New Zealand produces a lot of minerals, including coal and gold. Mining has helped to make the economy stronger, but there are a lot of side effects to this trade. I will be talking about how it has been affecting New Zealand and the use of solutions which New Zealand or other countries are trying out so that mining can be done in an environmentally friendly way. Mining in New Zealand started way back in the 1500s when the local settlers used to carve out necklaces and other crafts from stones that had been mined. The scale of mining was very small. The major focus was on agriculture. In the 1800s, as the settlers from Europe came, they were trying to find minerals in New Zealand. When coal and gold were discovered, the settlers were really happy and mining started all around the country. In 1859, after the laws were made, mining was controlled and the gold mines would be inspected by wardens. Today in New Zealand, it is estimated that 0.016% of New Zealand's land area, or 4,000 hectares, is used by the mining industry. I live in a region called Waikato. It is one of the areas where there is a considerable amount of mining happening. In mining, a lot of new safety and environmental procedures have been put in place. The Crown's Mineral Act in 1991, which states that gold, coal and other elements are all under the Crown and apart from what has been sanctioned now, no more land will be given for mining without going through the consent process. Some of the land had biodiverse life on it, so green organizations like Forest and Bird are against the mining and have petitioned multiple times against it. Mining has also affected people emotionally. Over 201 people have died in mining accidents since 1879. One of the largest and recent disasters was in 2010. It was the Pike River Mine Disaster. In this incident, there was a coal mine explosion. In all, there were three blasts. Blasting emissions went on for days, yet many lost their loved ones. And the only two people who survived were at the entrance of the mine. In all, 29 people died in this accident. Our report estimates that the unexplored resources in New Zealand of just seven core minerals, including gold and copper, totaled around $140 billion in worth. There is a great focus of the current government to encourage mining to support the economy. At the same time, a lot of NGOs like Forest and Bird are taking action to stop the mining in biodiverse areas by going to the environmental court. Some mining operators have programs of rehabilitation by replacing mine land with trees and vegetation direct transfer which is digging up vegetation and soil intact with a digger and moving it to another location. But neither of these methods can completely replicate the original vegetation and habitat. I feel that the international practice of using underground mining more is a much better solution compared to the currently largely practiced method of open pit mining in New Zealand. It could be much better for both the environment and the habitat. The region I lived in with a lot of mining and natural beauty is also home to the place used as a movie set for Lord of the Rings. This place has fantastic scenic beauty. I feel whether it is mining or maintaining the beauty of nature, both if done in a sustainable, sensible manner, can support the local economy and maintain the natural beauty. Mining in New Zealand is a very big environmental issue and with support and modifications to the existing approach, laws and safety issues, this can be fixed. Even though we could have problems in our environment, they can be addressed with the right will, policy and efforts of aware and responsible citizens, they can be rectified.